Hey guys, it's Christian Martin TV here, and welcome back to another video. Today is the last group state match of the tale. It's the Nebetfet Cup Group F, and today we are playing Edinburgh City in the group. Uh, this today is the first time ever Martin has played Edinburgh City. I can't tell you details uh, the meetings on that we played them because we haven't played them at all in all competitions or anything. So today is the first time they two meet. Today it's at Capital Park. My prediction is 5-0 Martin. The only why I'm going for 5-0 we need to stand a chance to get through to the next stage. Hope we can do it. Uh, Enterprise City uh, group uh, was with Motherwell, Berwick and Queen's Park. Uh, I went today with Motherwell finished second and Enterprise were finished group last. I, I, I I think they were finished last, I'll tell you in a second. Uh, Edinburgh's results are 2-2 against Berwick on the 18th of July. I lost 3-0 against... 2-2 no, uh, against Berwick, 1-4-2 in penalties, that's a, got two points for that. Lost 3-0 against Queen's Park on the 22nd of July. On the 25th... 5th of July, on Tuesday there, they lost 2-1 to Motherwell. So, uh, and today they're playing Morton. My prediction is still 5-0. And the table stands... I'll get the table for you. i find it. Oh, ta 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 bit freak up. I, eh, uh, I, I think we will win the uh, win today. I really think we will win today. Bit freak up. Tables. Group A. Group A. Group A. The fourth at the moment, eh, uh, I think we will finish fourth. So, yes, that's my preview after match. I'll see you in my after match. Come on, it, Cho! Back for the match now, finish Martin 5, Edinburgh City 0. Uh, I think today's day, today's game, I think we dominated the whole first half. I think the whole game actually, first half we dominated, the whole, start to first. And we should have taken the lead in the first minute uh, by Bob Acu, but he braced it wide. But we did got a goal in the 15th, 14th minute uh, by Bob Acu. Take us touch, it slotted on past the keeper. Uh, we made it 1 0 at half time. But the chances in the first half was brilliant. Good save for the keeper. And yeah, the keeper played a. Without the keeper, their keeper could have been 6, 7, maybe 8, 9 goals. But their keeper pulled off a cover good save in the first half. And yeah, in the second half, came, come along. Uh, Kintongo came up and got his first goal of the season. And he did his big, his normal celebration, his back flip, made it 2-0. Then Thompson got, made it 3-0 on a header that, I think it was a diving header, took into the corner of the night. Six minutes later, I made it 4-0 uh, with Thompson again. And brilliant play, brilliant play, just booted it top, uh, past the keeper. And... They have, before that, uh, we had chances, keeper saved again, keeper saved again, couple of good free kicks, keeper got it saved, but that keeper played a good, a good game, but as in my man match, she got away at the end. But apart from that, I thought we uh, did, uh, did it, and Bob McHugh scored a beast, uh, just it was inside his box, he just curled it top right hand corner, made it 5 0 Morton. And go right into made it five, but are we through to next round? I don't know. Apparently we are. According to SPFL, they're telling you the we hang green hang you through. But I doubt it. But I don't know if we get through. If we get through, we get no, we not. So we don't know. Like in the end of the day, today, why did we not play against Mallow? We should have played that against Mallow. We could have controlled the game. Pass it, but we didn't against Mallow. We ruined it. But today, I thought we played attentively well, and. Martin had 29 shots on goal, 
16 off target and 13 off target. Edinburgh only one shot on goal and, and I don't think it was on target. So as to how good we were, we, uh, good we were today. And Craig Beatty came off injured. Uh, yeah, uh, and he's a striker and he was playing centre back. Come on. I was out of position. I know Martin played uh, last year. Uh, what's his name? Jamie McDonough up right back. He, he was brilliant at right back. Uh, Begidi. He was just. No, Begidi. Uh, Beatty. He uh, could keep losing the ball when he was on and he got half injured. So that was a bonus for us. Cause we controlled. Uh, we could have scored more. If uh, our keeper didn't. We could didn't. In fact, he didn't. See, we didn't save them, but we would have scored more. But overall performance, brilliant performance. Let's get my man match and third place. I'm going to get to Jai Katongo. Thought he played outstanding today. Secondly, I'm going to get to the new boy Jack Ardale. I thought his defending, defend was good. He was up winning the balls, winning the balls crossing in. But I think he was good today, and the winner. Of today goes to Robert Thomas. I thought he played outstanding. It was between him and Big Q for a top place. I had to give it to Thomas. I thought he was outstanding today. My opinion, he was the best player on that park. He hold on the ball well, controlled it better. He could have had a hat trick, but he didn't. So that's my preview after match. So I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like, comment if you enjoyed it. If you haven't subscribed, me, please hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye. And I just want to say a shout out to Dick. 29 is he go and check go and sub to him and he's a good guy please and sub to him subscribe to chris's water tv how far can we get if we sell